Trump broke him, crying Chuck Schumer makes shocking admission about POTUS. President Donald Trump is keeping his promises to put America first. Now, crying Chuck Schumer, DNY, has cracked, making a shocking admission about our president that no one saw coming. According to Daily Caller, Democrat Chuck Schumer, DNY, stood on the Senate floor on Tuesday, March 13, 2018, to bend the knee to our brilliant president for his masterful intervention to keep American tech giant Qualcomm American. Schumer unabashedly praised Trump for stopping Broadcom, the Singapore-owned, China-backed tech company, from taking over the U.S. chipmaker Qualcomm due to the national security risks that would have come along with the takeover. This is a blow to China and a clear message to foreign governments who have been stealing U.S. technology for years that a new sheriff is in town. Let me say unequivocally, President Trump and his administration made the right decision on blocking Broadcom from taking over Qualcomm, Schumer said. We all know that China has been rapacious about trade and very smart. They look for places where they can steal our best technology. This is a different tune for Schumer who has locked horns with Trump on nearly every issue from gun rights and tax reform to immigration. Despite being ideologically opposed to the president, Schumer was apparently ready to recognize Trump's fine leadership in regard to the proposed tech takeover. I would not be surprised in the least to find that perhaps Schumer himself or close political allies had a lot to lose in the event that Broadcom succeeded. Thanks to Trump's decision to put the smackdown on Singapore and China, the U.S. tech industry has a huge reason to celebrate. The president's order came on Monday, March 12, 2018, which mandated that Broadcom and Qualcomm cease all activities related to the takeover. Had the takeover been allowed to transpire, it would have constituted one of the biggest tech mergers in history, with an estimated value of $117 billion. The administration's decision, in this case, should serve as an example to foreign governments and companies who set their sights on U.S. firms in the future. According to Breitbart, the president's decision followed an investigation conducted by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S., CFI U.S., which discovered that Broadcom had planned a hostile takeover of Qualcomm through stock purchases and proxy votes in early 2018. The committee is made up of select members of Trump's cabinet and Secretary of the Treasury Stephen Nudgen. Thanks to their hard work, our president was able to look at the merger with a wealth of information and make the right call. The decision to investigate the merger was based on classified and unclassified information gathered by the Treasury Department. Notably, U.S.-owned Qualcomm is the biggest manufacturer of critical semiconductors that power electronic devices. Smartphones and servers are among some of the most technologically advanced devices containing Qualcomm's chips. The tech giant is also known as a global leader in the research and development of 5G networks. One of the more sensitive issues involved in the merger involves classified contracts, which Qualcomm has with the Department of Defense and other agencies. Why on earth would we want a foreign government like Singapore or China to be in control of those kinds of resources? The Treasury Department released a letter on March 6, 2018, which read in part, Qualcomm has become well known to and trusted by, the U.S. government, having a well known and trusted company hold the dominant role that Qualcomm does in the U.S. telecommunications infrastructure provides significant confidence in the integrity of such infrastructure as it relates to national security. The Trump administration needs to reevaluate the capability of foreign governments and companies to invest in U.S. owned businesses. For decades, our country's industries have been left wide open to what, in reality, amounts to a foreign invasion. I don't often share similar opinions with crying Chuck Schumer, but when he stands on the Senate floor praising President Donald Trump for a smart move, I can't help but nod in agreement. agreement.